since I chair this committee, I will go by my clock. Our time. <laughs> my clock says it just turned 629. Seven. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't know what that says. Yeah. Uh, probably a little quick or something. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, no, the whole is yeah, the well, I, I tell you, it's set the voice of the battery because the battery is getting a little old. Okay, it is now 6.30. Well, the joint meeting of the Financial Committee and Water Commission is for, do you want to call the Water Commission meeting on? Call the Water Commission meeting on. Okay, so we'll call it Okay, uh, first item on the, on the, uh, on the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The next one on the agenda is item 2, approved minutes of January 11th, 2018. You're not ready. You're not ready. No. Okay. So we will uh, get that. Uh, third item, public comment on any non-agenda items. Do we have any public comment? I just have um, just a quick question for the chief. Is there any place that the onset fire collates information on how many ODs they respond to and how many doses of Narcan are administered? I can tell you how many we respond to. As far as Narcan, I can't. I couldn't release that information. I can tell you how much I buy, but that's not something that I'd be able to release to you. But I can say that we use it and how much we purchase. Okay. But dosage is set by the state protocol and what I can administer. Okay. okay. Thank you. So is that, mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, item four discuss initial drafts of budgets for yes. all boards. Uh, so we've got copies of. The fire department, court treasurer, school committee, and then, uh, do you have a little water? I don't know. This is this. You know this? Yeah. They're still working on the oh, fire. Oh, they're, they're still working on the fire. 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 All right. Uh, so, uh, your pleasure. Which one do you want? Do you want to go to uh, court treasurer's budget first? Does everyone have a copy of the yeah. budget, budget, the proposed budget? Uh, any, uh, Pretty much everything has been level funded. The only increases that are there are salary increase, which I've it's taken. A, it's a percentage that was given to one of the district Other than that, um, this is a preliminary. There will probably be some decreases in some of my categories as I get closer to end of the month to see where my expenditures are that I can cut back that I feel that I can. I think these are pretty much pretty much level, level funded from the previous year. And, and, and I, I, you notice the asterisks on the administrative assistance salary mm -hmm. is 29.6, and then the additional funding uh, is uh, when, she, when, she, when, she, when she covers for marriage yep. and her absence. Yeah. Uh, any, any questions on any of the items on the clerk treasurer's proposed budget? Mm -hmm. 
Next is the, the pool committee budget. Uh, let's see. It is, everyone have a copy of it? Yeah. <coughs> retirements again, huh? Yes. Because yes. uh, the retirement, retirees? Yes, the, the reason for that is yeah. for uh, mm -hmm. the fact that we've lost a uh, couple of retirees that have passed away. The biggest increase is the is health and health insurance and life insurance. Uh, that, that's a bugaboo. <laughs> every way, every way you talk to people. Yeah, we're not doing bad if you go to other counties and districts and you see what theirs is. May Mayflower does, Mayflower good, does, does a good, really job. good job. And uh, in fact, we've had people that right near that have left Mayflower and end up coming back yeah. to the Mayflower group. They've so done a, a decent group. job of. Yeah. Keeping it, no. it was in a reason. We don't go up as much as a lot of other places. Any any questions on the any of the items in the pool budget, proposed pool budget? The fire department. So, the okay. chief uh, handle this one. The um, overall increase I would project was one point eight six percent with the. Uh, the payroll items, and then uh, a slight increase in M and O, some other things cut back on. Um, but like I said, a 1.86 is on page one for my operating budget and payroll. Just trying to see. Me. The payroll is the is the. Uh, mm -hmm. And payroll in, most, in, in, in most budgets, payroll is the, is the What I like is the fact that we have the vehicle updates, you know, so yeah. that we know when, yeah. when these items are going to be due for uh, replacement, yeah. which um, is good because we never have that. So page two, and the projection of um, requesting yeah. additional funds if available for the uh, for protective clothing and to replenish the matching funds account after the purchase of the tanker and uh, see how that pans out. Um, page three is the vehicle replacement schedule. So the primary item on the uh, replacement schedule is engine one, which is uh, overdue from its lifespan. It was it's coming up on 30 years this year. Um, with the addition of the grant tanker, and the uh, breaker project, we've gotten rid of the oldest vehicles in the fleet. So right now, like I said, we're in pretty good shape other than the um, engine one project, which we'll have to discuss because like I said, that, that'll, that'll be a kind of a major issue. But everything else now, we're, we're pretty much on track till 2020, 2021, and then down the line. So we've, we've got some time. We've, I've been able to space that out with the, uh, with the projects we've done. So um, that's actually all right. We're, since the time we started, we've made some significant progress on that. Uh, and then the last page is the is my ongoing updated equipment replacement scheduling. So the major items that would be SCBA with the grant 2012, so 2023, we'll have to start looking at that cycle. Protective clothing is one of the current ongoing projects. Uh, metering and detectors, we're good with that. Power tools, that upgrade's done. The hose with the grant last year and the year before, uh, we're pretty good. There's a couple items we'll have to purchase for the tanker, but we're in good shape. The defibrillator program I started and continued on is um, done. So we'll have to just monitor the existing units, and then as we need to replace them, we can space that out so we're not making, that we make, initially had to make some of the bulk purchases to replace the, the first units that we, uh, had that were, you know, they went past. Thermal imaging is good. The second uh, current project we're doing is radio, so we'll probably start doing portable replacement of the 15-year-old portable radios. Probably doing maybe three or four per year now. Uh, do a company at a time, so there's enough money in the radio account that I put in for seven to, to start that project. Um, computers, we replaced the computers a couple of years ago. We got a server in 16, so probably a couple more years we'll start doing a couple units at a time, and then the rescue tool uh, upgrade cycle is complete. So we've made a significant amount of progress in the last four years with 
because every when we started, everything on this list oh, was, was up to get done. There was no list. So yeah, everything had no everything on this had to get done, and we we made some substantial progress in four years to get to the point where we only have two open issues right now. So we're we're pretty well caught up into that. Uh, I certainly want you to pass along to you men that the job they've done in and we haven't always been successful in, in securing these, these federal grants for some of this equipment. But we have been successful on a few, few occasions and, and they've brought in a lot of a lot of funds to replace a lot of equipment. It, otherwise it still would have needed to be replaced and fortunately it, it was done on uh, you know, for ten cents on the dollar or you know rather than so yep. so we've been pretty fortunate. Uh, you know, encourage them to, con to continue to, to, as long as the fire grants yeah. and any other grant is out there, so, you know, please, you know, put, yeah, put some of these looking. items, you know, that, that, that engine replacement, that would be nice. If so, we could, so we're trying that this yeah. year, we're going for the engine again, and we're doing protective clothing again this year. That would certainly be, you know. Yeah, like I said, that's substantial. Like I said, that's the last major hurdle after you, but the amount of stuff that we have been able to accomplish in four years is pretty impressive considering that whole list yeah, was, uh, yeah, was an open well, field when we started. Well, well you've done well. Huh? You've come a long way. And, and just the fact that you know, we have a capital plan in place. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, you, you, you've got to be able to project out and at least give the citizens some idea <coughs> of what, what is coming in the future yeah. so it doesn't come as a big surprise. Similar to the water tank when we get into it. You know, I mean, things like that, big, big expenses need to be, you know, you, you just can't drop those, you know, unless it's a, you know, a catastrophic event. But other than that, mm -hmm. having a good capital plan and trying to look at the, the, the debt level of the district and trying to keep it fairly <coughs> level rather than having a way, spike way up one year and down, you know, I mean, it's just try to keep a, a level so that the tax rates can you know, get some stability to it. So I, you know, I, applaud, I applaud the job you've done putting together finally a, a capital plan for this. You know, and, it doesn't, uh, and it doesn't always mean that we, like you know, look at your, your plan, that engine was, was slated to be replaced in 2013 well, because of a lot of issues. We've asked you to keep that thing band-aided and keep it going. And you know, if we have to spend a little maintenance money to do it, uh, you know, because we were looking at the, the fire station. I mean, it's you know, major expenses, but but these are the things that we're planning and, and you, know, you put it on paper and you, you bring it to the people. At least it, again, it's not a big surprise. So. And the other piece to that too is everybody's working in harmony with one another, which is amazing. Amazing. So. It's just made things a lot more doable and a lot smoother now than they've been in the past. So the, 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 so the cooperation between all the boards. It's really the, been good. The engineers, the, the water commissioners, the financial committees. It, I, I've never, you know, it, it's a pleasure. <laughs> the, the first few years it was pretty, pretty difficult, but uh, it, it's certainly a pleasure today compared to what it was. Let's hope that can continue. Okay. I, have, I have a question on your um, handout sheet. Yep. The asterisks for the engine, the breaker, and rescue one. Okay. What's that indicative of? So, if engine one gets replaced when it does, my plan would be to sunset rescue one, and we would no longer need it because the, the latter has a JAWS component, engine two has a JAWS component. The new engine would have a JAWS component, rescue one would become superfluous at that point. There'd be no real need for it, so we can sunset that piece of equipment. Okay. If we choose to keep 149, the smaller breaker, operational, then we could use the chassis from rescue one, take the box off of it, and build the breaker off of it. If we choose to sunset 149 and just utilize the, the five ton breaker, which you know we're, we're doing right now, that would be two pieces we could sunset. So, but it's something to look at. I don't know if that'll be within my tenure or the next guy, but it's it's just options but available. Market, so that's yeah, so, yeah, okay, so we, we can look at those possibilities of whether we need this, because I've, I've been trying to look at um, a little bit of statistical data on usage of equipment, call volume, and, and wh wh what do we need? What do we need to keep going? Because if, if you look at the past 10 years of calls, 
we've shifted clearly like EMS is becoming more of the, the trend as with every place else. Yeah. We're still, but we still um, I'm involved with a call volunteer committee through FCAM, through the Fire Chiefs Association. And just like call volume wise, we're still amongst some of the busier places um, for being five square miles. We're actually, Georgetown is one of the only other call departments, the whole town of Georgetown is comparable to us as far as call volume in what we do. So I was just looking at equipment, what's being used and what we need to do so maybe in the future we can streamline or what we need to do in the future. Mm -hmm. So that okay. any other questions? Yes, but a question on there. <coughs> yep. You budgeted fifteen for yep. two thousand eighteen. Right? Yep. And then there's a three thousand dollar reduction in yep. nineteen. And then there's the free cash. So here's the here's the thing. Right now we're in a replacement cycle. So that right there is what we would use if I lose a piece of helmet, uh, coat gets ruined, that's what I would consider our normal maintenance. The additional money is I want to replace 10 sets of gear that are out of date right now because I've got 30 sets of gear that have gone beyond their 10 year lifespan. So without just going and asking for a rule of money, I've been trying to do 10 sets per year. So you will be all at the same time yeah. too. So the, the, the figure that you see on the front page is what I would just, it's normal operational wear. Like I, I've got a helmet under a wheel, um, something gets ruined. That's that replacement. The other one, like I said, is I'm going to get 10 complete sets, take 10 of my oldest sets out and do that. And I'm trying to do that a little bit at a time instead of going, I need $100,000 to do all the gear at once. Yeah, that was my concern. Uh, you would have a $3,000 yeah. cut in an area that's very important. Yeah, like so that's that's, that's and, and that's my normal, like I said, that's just our normal operational usage. And last year, um, like I said, it, it, I, after looking at what we did last year, what we went through, it, mm -hmm. I felt we could kind of bring that one back a little bit. And then if I get 10 more sets, that kind of helps me a little bit more because it's less likely to wear it. Like, we're facing what's going to probably wear out and get torn anyhow. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Mr. So these are, these are four minutes, right? Yeah. Allow the water. Sure. Yeah, okay. yeah, we discussed we don't have a, a clock either. Okay. By all means. It's going to go off the cuff. <laughs> off, the, off the cuff. Off the cuff's okay. Fire away. Go ahead. So last, last year, almost to date, you, you asked us about a capital <coughs> plan. And for the last year, I've been assessing the water department and its infrastructure needs and Pretty much everywhere around, we've been talking about it at meetings mm -hmm. nonstop. Um, I think our first reality came into play during our well situation this, this summer. Um, that couldn't be predicted, and unfortunately, <coughs> we just kind of had to deal with it as it as laid. So because of that, we started looking back at when the last full cycle of the wells have been rehabbed and what years they are. and. We're in tough shape as far as what we need to do to move forward. So, well four being the one that just got done this summer, we're good. And typically they say anywhere from 15 to 17 years, depending upon how much water you're pushing out of it, how often it's running, how many hours and all that. Um, well seven's good because it only went online in uh, 2013 or so. So you're looking at a good 15 years down the road before we really have to do anything major to that, hopefully. Um, well 6, well 5, and well 3 was probably, I think it was done back in 2009. So that one's got a few years left before, you know, it starts showing signs of fatigue. But 5 and 6 need to be dealt with within the next couple of years. They're probably four or five years past their prime and they're starting to show signs of decreased pumping and more maintenance <clears throat> and it, it's either going to nickel and dime us to death on the maintenance end or we're going to have to start really setting aside some for cash for it and plan for it over the next two to three years. Um, our standpipe has been the bane of sounds like the district's <laughs> existence for the last 10 to 15 years. Um, luckily, the internal report came back that we had done this year, and the internal part of the tank is in really good shape. 
Um, there's no major pitting or issues on the coating. Um, we've had, it's, it's been, because of the, the quality of the water in Onset, it's taken care of itself. So, but there's other bigger issues along with yes. that, depending upon the developments that are slated to come into town, um, just more usage overall. And in order to do a full rehab on that, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have something in place because right now it needs maintenance. It needs exterior maintenance, it needs foundation maintenance, and all of that needs to be done when we have something else in place. So looking at a new standpipe, you know, in 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 the short term is gonna be a major major commitment by everyone. So that that was that's probably the number one on the capital project, the well rehabilitation on probably five and six, I would say would be number two. And then I would say the next most important thing would be to finish our meter replacement program. It's dragged on way too long as far as I'm concerned. It's it, it, it just, but you know, the, the situation is, it, it all comes down to cash. But we gotta put it out there in order to make everything else click. Because if you get the meters done, that's going to lay 10, 12, 15 other things will, will be more mainstream as far as the collection of the data and the billing and everything just starts to move faster if we have everything radioed. Mm -hmm. um, so we still have some that are not a lot of we, have, we have quite a few. We're, we're about 67, 68%. So how long do you think it'll be before you that project is completed? If if we had if we had the yes, the, if we had the the tree out back that we could yeah. pick money off of, <laughs> it, it could it could potentially be done. You know, we could wrap it up in probably a couple of years. Okay, but if we don't have the tree, which we we don't have, yep. what do you what would you anticipate for a time frame? Because I'm thinking, yep. what time frame when you get to the end, it's going to be time to start working. You, you already are because they because it's it, they've started so long ago. But what is the life of one of these meters? How often do they need to be placed? Manufacturer's life or real life? <laughs> real yeah, life. Yeah, real life. I mean, ten years for these batteries to really to do what they're supposed to do. You know, we have we have a lot of grueling situations in Ontario because of all the meter pits and to being submerged in seawater sometimes, depending upon where the house is located. So they, they take a lot more abuse. You know, a house in somebody's basement, it's nice and warm, and they don't deal with the freeze and the thaw and all that. You probably get 15, maybe 20 years. I mean, we have meters out there right now that are 20, 25 years, but you're not dealing with a radio at that point. You're dealing with just good old mechanics. So. So, so basically, we, you know, when you're putting together a capital plan, and you take whatever the quantity is of the district and you, you just build in yep. that number, one tenth of a, a ten year shelf life, uh, actual life, uh, you know, you, you, you place ten, ten percent of them <coughs> a year. I mean, that's, you buy ten percent, you replace, replace ten percent, you build that in as a... Yeah, th this year actually... That, 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 then you're not, then you're not buying... You know, Fifty percent of them in one year, right? You know, getting this big spike in. in, in, in yeah, this year the water department staff put in almost four hundred units, which uh, is wow. about double of yeah, what the right. past That's year long, staff yeah. has been putting right. in. So. Made a decent wow. And it represents what percentage of the total meters? Sixty. What what's radio now? The 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 four hundred meters represents what percentage of the district's meters? It, it's probably maybe six percent, eight percent, something like that. I was just looking for yeah. a ballpark. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 So we bet in the past. Well, we, we have we, about a thousand to eleven hundred <coughs> left to go. Yeah. Well, I mean the cold too. It's the cycle. It's just like with the fire department. We get these things on a cycle and on a plan, and you replace them when they do, you know, in a, some kind of a constructive manner, mm -hmm. it's ultimately not going to cost the district as much money because before, you know, things were falling apart. It cost a lot more money 
to replace something because it's outlived its lifespan as opposed to something that you replace when the time is due. Ultimately, what a lot of people don't understand is that saves in the long run the district money. People don't always think that they realize that. The, the can's been kicked down the road it's now way too long. for 25 I long years and unfortunately for us, it's the, the end, end of the world. world. Right. I also have a point of order. Let the record show that uh, this proceeding is being taped. Oh, okay. I forgot to that my bad. I should have said that. You said that in the beginning. I, you did. Did I say it? I, I thought you did. I said it. It is me. being audio and vis video. Uh, <coughs> I, I, I remember I, I talked to you about it. I asked you. I, I, I don't know if I, if I announced it. I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I just want to state that in the last year or since Mr. Sampson has been here, that more has gotten done in one year than the past 10 years. Yeah. And we have a good working group that I want. Thank you very much for your hard work. I mean, I, I, I see it. Uh, yeah. 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 It also shows that, the, the, uh, that all of the groups are working collectively together. We're all thinking the same way. Which and I, I want to say that it's impressive to see you in the field with your sleeves rolled up and yeah, a tool absolutely. in your hand right along with all the other workers. Um, kudos to you for running your department that way. Thank you. Hopefully you're going to be around for a long time. On the water tank you mentioned. Now, the previous board had had you know, we, we had discussed this with them in the past, and, and their plan in, in the previous, you know, the person who replaced in the office here, his previous plan was to get a $400,000 tank and put it on the top of stand pipe pits. Um, uh, we may now, I guess, I guess that's for the old, and then, uh, he kept mentioning four hundred thousand dollars for this low profile. Is that is that the same thing you're thinking, or you think you're you're, you're, think, you're thinking of a different? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, what and what I was introduced to upon my arrival here last year was not that version. It was a pre-stressed, um, like probably I think I think it was slated to be a one either a seven hundred fifty thousand gallon or an even million. And what I was told is that they were going to try and set it up over here, but then obviously with the fire station coming over here, we weren't sure about how much how much land.